information on the second deposition happening right now for former President Trump in Lower Manhattan over his business practices. His lawyer says he intends to answer questions this time instead of invoking his Fifth Amendment protection against self-incrimination. Eyewitness News reporter Mike Marza joins us from Lower Manhattan, where a small group of anti-Trump protesters, as well as pro-Trump protesters, gather today. Hi there, Mike. Yeah, at most points of the morning, Janice, the media members outnumbered those of the protesters this morning. In fact, those protesters left quickly after the former president rolled by. The former president avowing that he is innocent in this case this morning, writing on his social media platform that the attorney general is racist, calling this particular case ridiculous. The attorney general launched this lawsuit last year, accusing the Trump organization of a scheme to inflate the net worth of Mr. Trump to gain favorable practices with loans and other business dealings. And right now, he is in this building behind me answering her questions. Former President Trump's motorcade rolled through an NYPD blocked off Liberty Street, past cheers of support and chants of New York hates you. I think we've hated him from 2016 onwards. We probably hated him from since before, um, because we are a city of immigrants. He's made a lot of comments about immigrants. Each time they throw another case at him, Donald Trump goes up five to ten points. Trump is in town for a second deposition in front of New York Attorney General Tish James in her investigation into the Trump Organization's business practices. I declined to answer the question. During his first deposition last summer, he invoked the Fifth Amendment more than 400 times. Doing a second deposition is a little unusual. Generally speaking, after a first deposition, if you don't think you're going to be able to conclude, you generally reserve the right to recall or have additional time. At the beginning of this morning's deposition, Trump's attorney said he will testify today, adding he remains resolute in his stance that he has nothing to conceal, and he looks forward to educating the attorney general about the immense success of his multi-billion dollar company. Trump back in the Big Apple one week after he appeared in court, the first former president to be criminally charged, now facing 34 felony counts for falsifying business records. Yesterday, Trump's attorney sued the key witness in the case, his former fixer, Michael Cohen, for $500 million. The suit alleging Cohen breached his duties owed to Mr. Trump by virtue of their attorney-client relationship, by spreading falsehoods about Mr. Trump that are likely to be embarrassing. There was no crime. In fact, a lot of people are saying he indicted somebody. There's no crime. That's illegal to do. Former President Trump faces at least six investigations, including his handling of classified documents and attempting to overturn the 2020 election. He still remains the current frontrunner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. He said himself that he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and, and, still, and still probably win presidency, and I agree with that. The trial for this particular case is expected to begin this fall.